Hello guys, so in this video we will be discussing what we have to do in week number 10. We are almost approaching to the end of the geometry part and here we have to take two topics that is polygon and solid geometry. Both are important topic but uh, more important than these two is solid geometry question. You will be getting question for sure in CAT exam. Now the time limit is same and in both the topics are purely formula based. So the basic formula and the shortcut formula both will be very very handy. I have provided ample of shortcut tricks and formula for both the topics wherever it is required. And in the solid examples, you will be finding the approach of this here. But most of the question from polygon appear from the area of hexagon. Because hexagon is nothing but a way wherein we can say that six equilateral triangles, if we combine them, then we can frame an hexagon. So, and it's also one of the symmetrical uh, uh, geometrical figure. So, lots of questions have appeared from hexagon. So, pay extra attention to hexagon. And from solid geometry, I have taken entirely a different approach. In school days, we uh, went through different types of solid geometry. Uh, figures and have dealt, dealt them individually but here I have segregated them in two broader parts one is the prism and the pyramid so every formula of prism will be equally applicable for say, cylinder for cube for cuboid and etc and all the formula for pyramid will be equally applicable for cone and the frustum etc you can handle any kind of questions from solid geometry right so the formulas are primarily based on say uh, lateral surface area the curved surface area and the total surface area apart from of course the volumes so you'll be finding formulas on this and of course sphere is also sphere and hemisphere is also an important component which i have given in the theory part so let me just show you that where you'll be finding these to these two topics and what all things you have to do in this particular week so once you log in you have to move to the geometry folder as you can see so once you go into the geometry folder you'll be finding the theory of solid geometry and polygon here right i have given all the all the theory from solid geometry with solid examples and the basic idea of polygon so you have to just go through it and after you finish the theory part you have to go to the polygon practice problem right you have to go all the practice problem because the topic is very very small so you'll be getting limited number of questions on them and then you have to move to the mensuration practice problem this mensuration practice problem contains all type of questions wherein you have to find perimeter area and volume right so you have to use the logic of triangle and circle also at time as i said that as and when we move to the higher concept of geometry the previous concepts are still applicable so here you can go through all the topics everything is given there and to pay attention to the solution because i have given wherever required i have given shortcut tricks also in the solution part so with this you will be completing the the maximum or i would say the most important part from the geometry in the next video, I'll discuss what we have to do in week number 11.